friends in the way. So, alrighty then. All right, so let's move into the third topic, which is, do you believe that he say or she say that comes from your friends when it comes to your man? For example, let's say, okay, so let's say uh, Kista calls me because she's at a woman's conference or something, you know? And so she say, girl, I saw Columbia up here in Charleston. I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hold. What the hell is Columbia, my Columbia, doing in Charleston? Well, he's supposed to be in Florence at work. Because that's what I was told, you know. So the thing, so I got a couple options here. I can go off like, okay, all right. Because I believe Kiki, I believe her. You know, why would she lie? That's my friend. That's my classmate. We got years in. Why would she lie? And then also, I got an adoption of, that's my man. We didn't put in a couple years. He know better than to lie to me. He know I violate my probation. He, he, why would he do that? You know, he know this ankle monitor go off. Why would he do that? So you kind of like in a pickle. Because you're like, I want to believe her. because She has no reason to lie. I want to believe him because he know I'll go to that ass. And then also you be like, but then you don't know she lying. You don't know if he lying. You don't want to mess up your relationship, your friendship with her. You don't want to mess up your relationship with him by bringing it to him because that's one thing men do not like. They don't like gossip. They don't like nagging. They don't like questions. They just, they don't like nothing. So do you believe when the he say, she say come to you from a friend? How do you, what do you do? Oh, you, oh, you want me to go for it? Uh, so when it comes to that, it depends. Okay. Break it, it down. Break it down. So do I feel like I can trust this friend? And do I feel like I can trust this man? Well, if I feel like I can trust this friend, it, I don't immediately take her word and then flip on them. I start to investigate. I start to find out some things. So like using the example that you said, let's just flip it. So if you tell me you see mine over there where you at and I know he's supposed to be over there, I'm going to ask you for what he's wearing. I'm going to ask you for what he's doing. I'm going to ask you for all that. Because then now I'm either going to call or I'm going to text and I'm going to say, hey, what you doing? Hey, where you at? And right. then some is, is and like you could tell if they're trying to kind of lie where they are or lie about what they're doing because it's just something that they're gonna leave out. It's something that they're gonna tell that just doesn't sound right. Like it really wouldn't add up. So then you sneak it in there and be like, ooh, so what you got on? Like y'all love asking us, so what you got on? What you got and, on today? Uh, right, like what you got on today? What you wore today? You what what you put on? So it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to see. I have had females in my past that were supposed to be friends. Right. That actually helped the dude cheat on me. Mm. So that's why I say, like, it all has to depend. Like, can I trust him? Can I trust her? Uh, if I feel like I can trust both, then I am going to, the questions will be, what he got on? What he doing? Where is he at? Or whatever the case may be. Because then I'm going to now take him and talk to him. But I'm like, just make sure he don't see you. Because right. as soon as they see you, they, he's going to know. know. Oh, they know. Right. He's going to know exactly what imagine. to say, how to say it. He's going to know everything to flip, all that stuff. So that's why I'm like, just make sure he don't, you know, make sure he don't see you while you're like, Telling you know, telling me this thing here, but but you do have to kind of like be careful when it comes to right when it comes to both of them. You, you just got to be able to know your friend, and you also got to be able to know the man as well. Yeah, most definitely got to know the friend because like if your friend has a history, of, first off, if my the part that female has like a thing of lying to me nine times out of ten, I probably as as an adult, as a thirty five year old now, I'm probably not even dealing with you anyway. But um, I try to keep like realistic people you know honest people genuine people in my life at this point um so yeah i totally understand what you're saying i get it 
important. I mean, I'm, you just got to know the company you keep. Uh, that's, I mean, I think that's the bottom line to it. You got to know the company you keep. I think every person that I would call a friend at this point in my life, if I was dating someone and they caught them, you know, out with somebody else, blah, 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 whatever situation it might be where they knew like something was shady was going down. Every friend that I have in my life, I know wouldn't come to me on some bullshit about that. Right. Right. That, so, I mean, cause I know I, there's some girls who have big friend groups and, you know, they got frenemies and <laughs> all that stuff like that. But you just, you have to know the company you keep. If you, if you have to sit there and question Cause don't okay so right so at the end of the day you would love to put your your partner on a pedestal right with you know what's us is between us we don't have to you know every time I have an issue I don't have to call my girlfriend or something like that you know what I mean like it stays that's, inside that's the, the house. ideal thing right right so that's how I would want to keep my relationship I don't want to have to call my best friend every single time that I have a tit and tat with you or anything else like that however my best friend is not going to call me and be like, I seen such and such, or I seen, you know, Carl out here. Oh, please don't let me be with somebody named Carl. I seen <laughs> Carl out here, you know, driving this girl around in his, you know, his Altima or whatever. I know oh, for okay. a fact she's not going to call and tell me that just to start some shit. You right, know what I right. mean? Right. But there are some girls and some big friend groups who do that because maybe they're envious maybe they just don't maybe they just plain just don't want you happy so you just you just mm-hmm. gotta know the company you keep and you know that's another topic also well you said two things that could be like spin-off topic spin-off which is um the company you keep and you know that little phrase birds and feathers flock, flock together but um but most definitely the um damn what you just said the uh watching the company you keep but we, my thing, we're all grown. Like, I, I, I totally agree with what you said as well about if you're, the people that you currently have in your life, if they come to you and say, hey, I saw him with, you have no reason to doubt them. You have no reason to doubt them because they ain't steered you wrong yet, you know? And why would they? Um, but uh, as far as me, uh, I agree with both of you guys. Um, I'm, I'm very... Well, y'all already know that I don't really do the title thing and, you know, all that other stuff. So... You really got to work on that. We're going to put that in one no, of the No, no, I don't know that. I done been to therapy and things. Like, <laughs> I am good, right? I think you know, I didn't even want to get married. Like, I'm considering doing that. Like, if a great man comes along, I'm willing to say I do, you know? I was actually honestly. I feel like you'd be one of the people that have a panic attack right before you walk down. Oh no, no, I'm most definitely gonna have anxiety. Look, I'm gonna have to have a Beyonce fan. Like, I'm gonna have to, because I'm gonna be like, sweat, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> Whitney, you better stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna Whitney that got her started. What's she saying? <laughs> Whitney said, now, nah, Courtney, did you have a date or something? Because why you look this <laughs> good on this here live? But she, she said all y'all. So she said all us look good. Thank you, Whitney. She trying. Thanks, Whitney. Thanks, Whitney. Oh, don't get don't get Courtney start. Please don't get Beyonce started. I mean, Whitney be on my timer. I don't know her personally, but I've always like admired her and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I admire what she's doing in her life and everything else like Aww. that. So when she be saying like stuff like this, I mean she <laughs> no, she didn't miss. Oh, she was asking. She said she late. She was asking, did she miss all the topics? She No, no we're currently didn't. on the third one, which is the uh the, uh, do you believe that he say she say uh when your friend comes to you and say hey i saw your guy or your girl with somebody else with another guy or girl it's like do you do what what do you do like of course you stop in that moment who do you what do you do like do you believe what your friend that's con- calling you saying or do you just be like nah my man wouldn't do me like that you know but me, like I said, y'all know how I am about titles and friendship and stuff. So if y'all came to me and said that, first off, I'm going to be like, go live. Like, not because I'm saying I don't trust y'all because I trust y'all 100%, 100%. It's that motherfucker that I'm not trusting because I know he going to come and try to, man, that won't be how I get from, think about it, how I go from Florence to Charleston like I'm like 
Because they lie so bad. They lie so damn bad. And then they mind fuck you, you know, to the fact where you'd be like, you know what? How did he get from Florence? Ain't no way you could get from Florence to Charleston like that. Kista, you lied. And then now he got me beefing with Kista. Right. Kista ain't got no reason to lie to me. Courtney ain't got no reason to lie. She in California. Like, there's no reason. But you know, I see what you're saying because I feel like my best, like my best friend, like my best friend, Tavy, she um, I feel like if she ever saw like if I was currently dating someone and she ever saw them out like with somebody else, I feel like she would have sent me a pic. Yeah, I need that. I, 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 I would feel like that's that would have been her first thing. She would have she would have took a pic and when she would have sent it to me and she would have been like, girl, look who I see. Or she she probably would have been funny when it. she probably would have been like, Who was that? <laughs> am I like going up to him and doing it? Well, she would. Tavi is the type of person who would definitely go up to him. Ooh, I like her. Tavi is definitely the type of person, especially let her be at a bar or something like that, and she already got a drink in her. Tavi will definitely be that girl to be like tapping on his shoulder. Like, let me tell you something. I like her. The, re- the reason why I say I like her because that's me, and I don't need a drink. You know, I don't need a drink like that. But let me tell you something. First off. I'm taking pictures from behind, like afar. And then I'm just going to take my camera and I'm zooming in. And then I'm going to do a couple boomerang videos. So you, because I know, Courtney, you love boomerangs. So I'm going to do a couple boomerangs for you, you know. <laughs> and then the, after I get everything I need, then that's when I'm walking up and I'm going to be like, world star, you know, like, <laughs> because what you think you're doing? Like, you cheating on my friend. That's affecting me because I got to hear her, you know, with all this, this, this crying and I, it's just a lot. And I can't deal with that. I got, I got businesses to run. I'm trying to find me a husband. I'm trying to trap a nigga. You know, I'm trying to get babies. I ain't got time for all that. You know, so I'm, I'm walking up on it. So ain't no discrepancies about who told you. Cause you know, they love I, who told you they probably lying anyway. They, they, they just don't want to see us together. They don't want to see us happy. No. You're not already happy with me, yeah. right? Why are you stepping outside this relationship? But you know, I think that's always why I'm a little sketchy when men are like, "I don't want your friends to know all the business," right? It's because- like on a certain level, I agree with that. Like my friends shouldn't know every little thing that's going on in our relationship. Even my best friend Tavy, that person shouldn't know every little thing that we goes on in our relationship. She shouldn't know that. However, if you are always trying to make it a point, like, even if, like, because, you know, you, I think when you talk about, like, mental health, like, I need someone to vent to, and I can't vent to you about you. (laughs) You know what I mean? Glad you said that. That's why I believe in therapy. Like, you, honestly, I know, I know people, you need your own individual therapist. But but other people act as that. that. But I mean, don't get me wrong, like other people act as that. Like my best friend sometimes, like it's as as I make it clear, like I'm like, I don't want to hear your opinion. I just need you to listen. You know right. what I mean? And so like, if I'm like, you know, at a point where I'm like, I need to talk about this and I can't talk to you about it because, you know, I can't get what I'm feeling off my chest. If you're sitting there trying to counter everything that I'm saying, you know what I mean? I right. just need someone to sit there and listen to me. So if you have a problem with that, like, cause some men are just like, you know, you shouldn't be talking to such and such at all about us, but it's like, I need someone to vent to about you. I can't vent to you about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's I, like men who are like offended or even get, um, uh, scared about that. That makes me think I'm like, what are you hiding? What did you, what, what you, are you exactly? Uh, what are you trying to keep in this house? Going to go outside this, these four walls. Because you're doing something outside these four walls. Exactly. And, and what are you friend, scared? Yeah, when my friends see you at that bar, she's going to be like, hold up. Courtney's supposed to be, Courtney, what the fuck are you doing? You know, and then it start adding up. Because right. she looks, and then, remember those conversations that y'all had, you know, like. Right. And then what are you so scared that she's going to try to say to me to put in my head that you don't want me to think? You know what I mean? To leave him. Exactly. Or even so, like. If like you do something shady, right? And maybe I'm like, this is just too much. I want to talk about this, right? So, and you know, maybe we got into an argument when I brought it up. And so I'm telling my best friend Tavy, like, he did some shady stuff. 
you shouldn't be threatened if she's like, oh, he's cheating because you should know I have a mind of my own. Absolutely. And you know if what he I mean? do what he's supposed to do at home, it shouldn't be something to be to worry about. It, it wouldn't be nothing. I mean, there's nothing. If anything, when he say, oh, that bitch jealous or she just want what you got, you know, it can be sincere when he says that, you know, but the, the number one thing here is that we know our friends, be it female or male friends, way before we know in that relationship. So uh, until until you're my husband, my friend is taking is, is up here because she or he has no reason to lie, like no reason whatsoever. And let me see the traits in my friend to make me feel like, damn. You know, hypothetically, let's just say, you know, that, um, you know, because y'all know I was a big advocate on not getting married, but now I'm, I'm changing, you know. So let's just say, using you, Courtney, for example, you, you do care about the big wedding and everything. So let's say I do get married before you do. And so, but you, and then let's say you have a little tint, you know, a little sprinkle of jealousy here and there. You're like, she didn't even want to get married. I'm the one that wanted to get married, you know. I get it. But come to me as a friend, you know, and we could talk about it. You know, I could be like, you know, good and damn well, I didn't want to do this, but he's a good man. I mean, he's, I mean, Italy. You know what? Oh, I'm the part? type of friend. Italy. <laughs> Italy. I'm the, and I'm the type of friend who will be like, you know, I'm hating, right? Like after, after after the initial like oh my god you get married da, 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 da. like we done been through that a few times like we done seen each other a couple of days and we done you know be like oh she getting married I'd be like you know I'm hating right you know I'm hating and it's, we will have that conversation yeah it's a good it's a good I bet you do it like on you know I'm hating right like on some jokey type stuff but I know you serious versus yeah it's like, like one of those serious jokes like right. I'm, I'm serious like I'm hating a little bit but of course I'm gonna be my happiness for you is gonna outweigh that 10 times and I, I would rather you do that versus you low-key sabotage me meaning oh, like your, your ass ain't showing up to the fit no time you ain't showing up to the take the cake testing the catering test. I'm like well, where the fuck where, she, where is Courtney I'm here, he, like you, like you said, the uh, the rich auntie. Like you come in with the big shades, the fur coat. I'm like, I'm gonna still come in like that, but I'm gonna come in on time. <laughs> You're wearing white to the damn wedding, like okay. Well, first of all, I don't think I'm not doing white, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I get it. So I think guys need to take from this this conversation, this discussion here that um, oh, let's. What? some of the comments um okay so sugar knock said definitely believe my friend she's definitely not gonna lead me astray correct i'm with you sugar <laughs> um <laughs> she also said yes sir his ass gonna last <laughs> like like a rug like a motherfucking <laughs> rug and then Whitney, oh, she said, oh, man, Courtney, you're in California. I'm sad. I thought we had a chance to have a girl's day. Girl, I'll be in the East Coast soon. <laughs> and then she said yes the proof is does help tremendously stefan said i don't have it in me to cheat honestly don't see the point listen i know y'all gonna probably think what i normally think when men would say like that be like <laughs> oh but he's but for real stefan is for real stefan stefan is real straight, straight like what yes. is, what's his zodiac sign stefan what is your zodiac sign which I'm, I honestly don't know, which I'm curious because I don't know why we always get along so well. I'm curious to know that. Um, but he said, uh, I don't have it in me. Honestly, I don't see a point. He said, that shit painful. He said, I'd rather break up with a girl than mess with someone else than mess with Thank someone you. while I'm still with you. Uh, Whitney you. said, absolutely. I think it's very necessary to have boundaries when it comes to your relationship and friendships. No matter how good a friend you are, something should only be between you and your partner. Correct. Uh, she also said, I just don't like when folks take their relationship problems to their friends all the time because when you forgive your partner and y'all are friends is still upset. As the evil person yep. you told them about. That family too, though. I agree. Yep. Um, Stefan said, I low key don't even want a wedding, rather sign the papers and save the money for the honeymoon. But if my girl wants girl wants one i'm all for it. I feel that, Stefan. And that's a trend. A lot of people are doing that. They're like, let's you have know, this little cute. Go Ceremony. to the courthouse, take some pictures. Let's spend the money on the, the honeymoon. Um, 
But he said, but I guess that's why a wedding is more of a day for the girl than the guy. It so is because uh, my wedding. <laughs> um, oh, Stefan is a Leo. <laughs> Okay. Of course you are, Stefan. <laughs> of course you are, Bless my cousin. Heart. Bless your heart. Are we caught up on comments? I think so. Uh, <laughs> my sister said hashtag Leo. <laughs> all right. So we've all decided that we are believing our friend. Yeah. And I believe my friend for sure, but give me some proof. And it's not because I think y'all are lying, but it's because he's going to lie. And I just need the proof, you know. What? Whitney and Leo right. too? Whitney, don't tell me you a Leo, girl, because now we got we to gotta meet up for real. <laughs> Bless y'all heart. <laughs> All right, but this so is, though, you know, I want to tell you, though, you can always tell, though, like, if you can't trust a friend, if you got that friend that, um... When I say they always trying to like come between y'all two, that that I kind of wouldn't trust. You know, and you know that it, it's it's iffy on the coming between you two because at one point in time, like because like I said, I've I've done some self awareness. You know, I I guess I could have been considered that friend that coming between you two, but I'm I really wasn't. I'm just the no nonsense. Friend. Like I was the friend that every time a guy do something, I'm like, leave that nigga, break up with him. It ain't worth it. So that would come <laughs> off as I'm jealous or you know, but I have my own situation, you know. So of course I'm not jealous, but I just like I don't like to see my friends hurt. I don't I most definitely get tired of hearing the same damn conversations over and over. He did this, he did just leave. It's not that it's not that hard, like. Girl strength, I mean, and what they say, how the old people say, um, the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else, on top of somebody else, you know? I believe it. But, uh... I wouldn't know. Ain't nobody trying to get under me. Oh, my God. 